So I've been working on a bigger reel video, and that's going to come out at some point soon. But, you know, sometimes you see something, you just, you got to speak out. You got to say something. Andy just dropped a door tier list, and this is not in my wheelhouse. I wouldn't have bothered to make a response video were it not for the fact that Andy is consistently wrong. How, how do you be wrong about doors? I didn't used to think this was a divisive topic, but apparently I was wrong. Link to the original is in the card up here. Also, the description you should maybe watch that first because I'm going to be cutting it up and tearing it apart right here. Doors, they're great. Get on with it already. I want to subscribe to you. You know what they say, work first, play later. And this foggy lamp ain't going to pay for itself. So I am sp Uncharacteristically wise words. Usually receiving large sums of money from a mattress company is grounds for an IRS investigation. Today I am sponsored by Helix Sleep, a mattress company all about matching you with the right mattress for your own unique and quirky sleep style. Now I don't need a mattress because I already sleep okay on my current bed, the ground. So instead I forced my dad to take their wacky ass quiz and because he sleeps like a creature, they matched him up with the Twilight Lux. He's only been using it for like a week so far, but I'm I'm sure he likes it. Pretty good. It's like sleeping on a cloud. Get out of the video. Helix will ship this goddamn thing straight to your door for free in the U.S. It's rolled up all nice. Setup can totally be a one-person job. Also, if you're like me and large financial purchases for things you have yet to try scare you very much, they got a 100-night trial. You don't like it? They nab it right back and beam you a full refund. If you do like it, that's great. Look, we're all very happy for you, but please stop calling. I don't care about Hot Wheels accelerators. My dad likes his Helix, and I'm happy for him. If you nab a mattress over at helixsleep.com slash noodle, not only will you get up to hondo off your purchase, but I will be happy for you as well. Thank you, Helix, for paying my bills and for the mattress for my dad. Truth be told, I don't really remember what I disliked about the video, more just the primal anger it conjured. Let's uh, let's dig it back up, shall we? Spinny door go spinny wee wee wee. When is a revolving door not fun? It is the highlight of any building. Yeah, so this is basically the first and last time that Andy is entirely correct. Who doesn't like spinning doors? They're like regular doors, but not only do they rotate forever, there's also like four times as much door to enjoy. Also, when you go in the door, let's say you hang out in there for a bit, soak up the wonders of this feat of ingenuity, come out the door. Wait, which side are you on? I don't know. Endless possibilities. At, at least two. Literally bliss. Fantastic door. A. A is not good enough. Don't do my boy dirty like that. This is an S tier door. Get your shit straight. Your common door. We all know it. We've all used it. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. It's part of our everyday. It's the true neutral of doors. No hidden agendas. It does what it does. And for that, it has my respect. B. What? Hold on. Andy, you just listed a whole bunch of things that apply to virtually all doors and then gave it a B. It does not deserve that. Yes, it is the true neutral of doors, but by virtue of its normality, it is also the least interesting or valuable. Standard plebeian doors are lazy and uninspired, and we'd be better off just replacing them all with revolving doors. D for do better. Okay, so sliding doors. It's like the ice level of doors. Slippy, slidey, and frustrating. What? Anytime I use a sliding door, I'm frustrated. You open it too fast and it bounces off the wall and it doesn't remain all the way open. Then it's like those mildly infuriating pictures. Like, Andy, oh, it, it's, it's a frustrated. door. It's a fucking door, Andy. How are you getting blue screened by a door? If it's not flush with the wall, then it's like those mildly infuriating pictures like, oh, isn't this frustrating? Don't you hate it that it looks like this? Yes, I do hate it. God. You know, you, you're right, actually. I mean, after all, door operation is a very complex, involved process. Oh, man. First, you got to grab onto the door. Then you got to hold onto the door while pulling to the left to open the door. Honestly, God knows what else. Why are you inept? Sliding doors are great. They're more fun than normal doors. They take up less space than normal doors. Third reason. Also, if you need a barricaded door for whatever reason, like a clown is coming after you and you need to block the door, you can't really do that with a sliding door. This is not a practical. Is it a common thing for you to barricade doors to avoid clown intrusion, Andy? Because for me, that's like a bi-monthly thing at most. This is a non-issue. It's a D. No, it's a B. This is not up for debate. If you have a barn door in your house, 
What? It's a worse sliding door. Not even flush with the wall. It just floats there. Okay, you know what? That is that that's actually true. I've lived with a couple barn doors in my day, and they were built different. And by different, I mean bad. They get fucked up if you open them too fast. Sometimes they would just derail. It was awful. It suck. Got a girl or guy or prefer not to say that you're hitting it off with and you want to take to bed and spend all night together talking about why the Hot Wheels movies deserve a revival? Hope you don't mind having absolutely no privacy whatsoever because half the time barn doors don't even got a fucking lock on them. Also, you can just peek the cracks anyway. What is the point? Useless invention. Bad door. D. Andy, did you misplace your cranium while constructing this list? Because you just said that barn doors are worse than sliding doors, but then you put them right next to each other, implying that they are equal, which you clearly do not think. Here, let me show you. So the one that you think is worse goes under the other one. That way, you see, now there's this implication that the, the better one is better. Attic doors are terrifying. It's a staple of any horror movie. What kind of horrible creatures are you harboring just above your very head? Hey, I would not want this in my house. It is only scary. F. What? Them being scary is like the whole point? You sound like a boring creature who doesn't enjoy any degree of excitement in their life. Would I prefer every door in my house revolve? Yes, but failing that? Absolutely I want a spooky door in my house. Who the fuck wants a D-tier pedestrian door when they could instead have a door stair hybrid? That is sick as hell. Even if you're stupid and disagree, having what is still worth it, it's not gonna hurt. Or, or maybe it will. That's fine. I just want to feel something. B for good door. Screen doors. What can I say? A lot. Not a lot. Andy, I'm getting real tired of you right now. Screen doors are great. They're like condoms for real doors. Oh no, I don't want my shitty D tier door getting damaged. Just put a screen door on that boy, it's okay. Now your dumbass boring door is safe and your door has a better door on it now. Objective improvement. The only downside is that it impedes traversal by adding another step to the door entry process. But the pros far outweigh the cons. Doors are better when they have screen doors on them. I am correct always. B. Hidden doors. Fantastic. And he says it all. Hidden doors are sick. I want one. Maybe I already have one. I'll never tell. A. Doggy door. Dog. And of course, last but not least, who could forget? God, you suck. We're not friends anymore. Regular doors are now obsolete. I don't understand how this works, but it's the future and I'm reinvesting 90% of my existing portfolio. The other 30% is going into Hot Wheels. All right, that's all the doors we got. Thank you for watching. And he ends it there. He ends it there. As if there aren't so many other doors. You know what? I don't fucking care anymore. Unsubscribe.